How's you going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Uh, today's project uh, is just kind of a quick one. Uh, I'm going to start it today. I say it's quick. It might take more than one day to do it. And that's only because it's so cold out here in the barn that the batteries don't last long in my saw, in my drill I mean. And I have to drill a couple of holes. And uh, the batteries are already low. And the problem with these uh, lithium ion batteries that I have is they don't like the cold. They don't charge in the cold either. So. I'm not sure what's going to transpire there, but anyway, the project I have today is for my little tractor. Uh, you, you all know I have a GC2300 Massey Ferguson. I just love it. Did I ever tell you that? She's a beauty. Anyways, it's got small back tires and a narrow wheelbase, like side to side. Right? Uh, I think the tractor is only 48 inches from outside to outside, which is ideal. Uh, but uh, sometimes, like when I'm plowing especially, or when I'm working it in the summer, digging, you know, running the bucket or something, if, uh, if it tips from side to side, I find the tractor kind of tippy, and I always get nervous when it starts to tip, even when I'm plowing. Like out the end of my lane here, when you come off the lake road down into my lane, it's, it, there's quite a little dip that comes down, and the way I plow the snow, I don't plow it across the road because that leaves too many uh, ruts on the road, I kind of plow from the middle of the road back into my banks so I push all the snow off in the banks. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is when I push snow onto my bank <coughs> the tractor ends up tipping and I'm always nervous when it's tipping. To be honest, I think she might roll over on me and I don't ever want to do that. Uh, so anyway, to try to ease my mind about how much the tractor tips when I'm plowing or pushing or working in different spots, uh, I ended up buying myself uh, an inclinometer. How do you like that? And you see as that rolls, that little ball on the bottom rolls around. Now, this inclinometer, I'm going to call it a level gauge because that's what it's called on the, the sign here. This level gauge, uh, it doesn't alarm anything or it doesn't stop anything. It just tells you how much, what angle you are tipped to. So in the manual for my tractor, it, it gives me some guidelines there about uh, what's a good side angle, safe side angle to run at. I forget what it said it was. I'm thinking 30 degrees, but no, it's not 30 degrees, because 30 degrees is, oh baby, I wouldn't want to be in it at 30. Anyways, it tipped. So I'm going to check that information in the manual and find out what it says. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and mount this uh, level gauge in the cab of the tractor so that I can see at any one time what my tractor's doing from side to side. Uh, in order to do that, I needed a little bracket, so guess what? In my junk drawer, I found a little piece of metal. It was already bent, had a couple of holes in it. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and mount this level gauge on there, and then I'm going to mount the bracket in the cab of the tractor. So that's the project. Come on along. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we're on the level with this job. So I have some uh, five mil uh, machine screws and nuts so that's what I'm going to do is drill a couple of holes in my level gauge first and I'll match those up with my bracket and then we'll go from there okay I've got a couple of spots marked uh, I just made the indentation a little bit uh, better for the drill to center on <coughs> I was talking about using my uh, my battery powered drill but the batteries were getting low on it so I'm going to chuck it up here uh, in the drill press and run it here so here we go Okay, so there's <coughs> there's the two holes, and now what I'm going to do is uh, put this on the bracket and mark where to drill the holes in the bracket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and run the drill in there. There's one hole. I'll mount the bolt in that and then hold the uh, gauge. 
gauge on and level it up from that. Alright, so there's the first one. Now I'm just going to drill this hole over here and put the second bolt in. Move some stuff. So I'm going to put the other uh, nut and bolt on that. So there we have it mounted on the bracket. Doesn't look too bad. Now it's just a matter of going out and I'm going to put this on the cross member on the cab. Uh, there's already a couple of holes there. I'm going to use self tapping uh, sheet metal screws and just pop that on there. Then I can adjust this bracket to be perpendicular. Okay so uh, before I come out to the tractor uh, in the shop I put this in the vise and I just put a little offset in this uh, because this uh, cross member that I'm mounting on is not uh, level so if I set it like that then my gauge becomes level okay so that's what I'm going to do okay when you need three hands what you need to do get yourself a clamp so here we go on this way just because it's harder to clamp in this side I guess all right that doesn't look too bad can you see what I'm doing are you as cold as I am as cold as your stepmother's breath here today all right, here we go. Hope this works. Half done. Don't need that anymore. Just in case you're wondering, if I can find another one, here's the screws I'm using. Can you see those? They're a hex head hex head but they're a self tapping sheet metal screw uh, buy them at any hardware store that's what I recommend now that doesn't look too bad right there you know so I'm going to put the other one in right here alright how do you like that Just bend that down a little now to make that as perpendicular as I can. And right now it's showing uh, about five degrees. List to port or to starboard, I mean, list to starboard. But that's because in front of my barn I've got a little bit of a slope. So that's it, boys. That's all there is to putting an inclinometer in your tractor, if that's how you say it. I'm not sure. A level gauge. Uh, I think it's a valuable added feature. In fact, that's going to be another creature comfort for my tractor. Because I was always nervous when the tractor was tippy, right? Uh, and I didn't know how far it was. All, all I felt in my gut was, oh no, back off of here. Uh, but anyways, now I know that uh, I'm pretty chicken when it gets more than 10 degrees listed one way or the other. So I'm sure the tractor is good for more than that, probably 15 plus or minus. But anything around 10, hey, that's enough for me. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for taking some time to watch. Uh, thumbs up me if you will and I really enjoy reading the comments and responding to the comments and interacting as much as I can with all the viewers so if you would leave a comment I'd love to get to know you and we'll chat talk to you